So now uh, this is our first introduction to like the in lab package and how it works. I feel by design it looked like I don't know if some people like have used MLR three or MLR or even like the stand uh, wrapper from R. Uh, it follow like the same. I feel philosophy, but feel free to correct me like if you think like you have some change. So we we'll discover like basically like the inline function which is the core of the package uh, which help you run models uh, and fit models with um, inla uh, we'll just see like few basic arguments uh, I show this is like a small grammar error here and then we'll see like uh, how we can access the default setup and how we can change it we're interacting a bit with the output and while doing everything of that we'll learn useful function. Uh, of this package that help us as a um, learn more stuff, see our, um, well, which, which um, design choice the author of the package have made regarding the model uh, output and how do we model is stuff, and also how we access the data uh, when the model is fitted not the data like all the information we want to get like with the hyper with the hyper parameters the um, linear predictors estimates all that so um the the authors of the book uh unlike like for example of federica with with me in the bias rules uh, she is not very too tidy diverse. She's a lot of base R function. So we are just loading inla and ggplot2. And a lot of operation are doing uh, with doing like base R, which who cares. Uh, so the step one of our exercise will be like define a small uh, linear, maybe I will, sorry, increase the size is better. So yes, I just loaded in la. Oh, Frederica, I are you able to try it on the on the rest of your server or not? How did the server that you provide uh, have been able to to run it? Yes, it works. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So don't hesitate to tell me like if if you run into trouble. But yeah. Okay. So uh, same for you. Uh, Oluwafemi, no trouble running in lab? Yes, I've installed it, so it's running fine for me. Okay, perfect. Because like, uh, it can be difficult uh, to do it. So, so I will write a function, um, the linear predictor as a formula object. I have tried to form a good um, sheet sheet or summary on how to write formula syntax in R, but I haven't been able to find it. So if you have like a good resource, feel free to share. I think, uh, yeah. So it, it, it's it's like, because like when you were starting to write inside a formula, like stuff like plus and uh, other kind of sign, take another value. So you have to be careful of that. That's why like I, I would have opened from a good resource to introduce that, but I haven't been able. So if you have like, if you have some good resource on it, feel free to share in the chat. Uh, so that's it. So how do we write it? Like we will have a response variable, the stuff that we want to understand. And we will have added fixed effect, effect that doesn't change and random effects. Uh, so this is like the global idea of, uh, of our formula. And like, can add also grouped effect, grouped uh, variable and stuff like that. So this is a very complete uh, way of interact, uh, do working. And also like uh, it can be, usually it's used a lot uh, inside models, but you can also use them like in uh, uh, while plotting or while accessing some data still. So Inside of the in lab philosophy, when you have a random effect, it's put inside a f function. This is literally how, it, how you write it, f function. Uh, and this function take basically two arguments. <laughs> it will take like the 
viable the, the the vectors i said name but it's the vectors uh that we want like to have assigned as a random effect and uh, the model argument like what kind of model are we using uh here it's a uh, i e e d i never able to pronounce it in english but uh two example below so like you have a linear progression that eta that's like an inter an intercept beta zero and two uh, fixed variable uh, beta one and uh, that's have like um, x one and x two which both have like uh, beta one and beta two are the effects of these two variables and then you have u y which is our random effect which here like for example will be defined by a normal distribution it's probably centered that's why it's, it's the mean is zero and it have the variance okay so just a quick reminder reminder no, sorry i'm like very my nose is very snuffy uh a quick reminder here um uh, if we no i have this is an error this is um zero plus beta one uh if you do not add zero on the formula it will not it will it will add the intercept uh, but it will not add it as a covariate. So if you want to add the intercept as a covariate, you will have to um, add, uh, use the zero uh, here, which is telling uh, R like you are you you are removing the intercept basically, and then you add it back again with beta zero. Okay, this is this is why I wanted like to add like some results on the formulas uh, R formula syntax, which is kind of particular. Okay, is it good for everyone? So yeah, it's a plus, not a equal, small typo. Yes, yeah. This is, I mean, yeah, this is no like nothing new. <clears throat> okay. So now, <clears throat> now we are going uh, more into like the topics. Uh, so yes, in nice like let's say the linear model. If you have a code like LM function in R. This is basically like the same philosophy and, and way of doing it. The first argument is the formula, like we have seen before. I will, you will have an example soon, but then you have a data argument, like you specify to uh, all mm, the formula is applied. Like let's say if I can, uh, where is my maybe it's better. Do, 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 do. So let's say like, uh, no, I will go like to the example first. I will, sorry, I will also increase the size of my appearance. Let's go with something big, maybe bigger. Apply. Okay. Maybe it's too big. Let's see if it's good. Okay. Let's go down a bit to give an example. The formula here. So yeah, it's just like <clears throat> the, so we will assign uh, an object formula that will take the formula that we want to assign. The data, <clears throat> it's called, uh, the data is called surge. But we will. This is we will know it later. So it have a variable called hospital, and then uh, we'll we will see that later. <clears throat> and it's basically like the mortality rate R is depending just on the hospital. It's a very simple model, but this is an example of a formula specified with the f function here, because like we just have one random effect and no uh, fixed model. We'll see this example a bit, but so just to illustrate. Then, so we, we we specify the formula. We specify so for um, we specify the data. Then we we specify the final family. Sorry, so which is the type of likelihood distribution we want to use as a model. This is like very also straightforward and classical. We have Gaussian. We have a binomial. We have all the same kind of type of distribution we used uh, here. I show you a way of interacting with Inla. I found it very intuitive and good to know. So if you open parentheses, go Inla dot models close parentheses, and then uh, it's it's 
it produces like basically a lot of stuff. So if you index it with likelihood, it will produce all the possible distribution of likelihood. There's plenty. That's why I just <laughs> also use the dollar sign to uh, subset it to just get the Poisson one. And it gives you like another kind of um, uh, a list of other um, uh, of other like um, other stuff like you can go deeper inside of it. That's uh, everything like you maybe are interested with the person uh, like you. And if you uh, go in la and for example poisson uh, doc use the function doc uh, so in la and every other use doc uh, it's it's uh, always the poisson argument you can replace poisson obviously with another family i will do it uh, on my uh, it provides you a lot of uh, it's open a lot of small pdf with a lot where poisson is relevant and i found them good so i will try to uh, show you I'm dying. Well, we all dying, but uh, here. We have to bit up, 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 up. So, so uh, do you see the lot of purple? So we have like a lot of um. Let's say like I will go like. Uh, apparently, what what do we have set up? Oh, I was in, uh, well. I have this wasn't like the. Um, Poisson one, I, I use another one. So it's it's like the normal one. So I open like a bunch of PDF, which is like, for example, the Gaussian prior. So it's not the likelihood, sorry. The, the, I use another one. And then uh, you have like the, you can improve that maybe uh, also for you here. Oh, sorry. So it specifies like the, the Gaussian distribution. You have like the parameters. It tell you like obviously it's a, it's a continuous um, distribution, and then the specification or the it works inside the f function, etc. etc. I highly encourage you, uh, even if you are knowledgeable, to just check the doc. I will I will I will go uh, later a bit about it because like you know every kind of uh, software. Or implementation of uh, algorithm can be different, and the author can make other design choice, and it's good to check if they mean like the same that another software that you already use. It can change. I will give you an example later. Okay, let's go back to the presentation. Uh, okay, so it also have also like arguments. So this all of that are the arguments that takes. Um, I will have. An example soon, so uh, that take uh, inputs. So formula take a formula object, data take usually a data frame. But I think it's a data frame. Like for example, if you have worked with others, it can be like also a list. But here it's a data frame. Family we have seen it. Then uh, and how you can like investigate it. So this is like first. So you can either like go with that or use the that doc function. That I think. Uh, it's a nice wrapper to get the documentation as a PDF. Okay, here now we have like the control compute. Let's take a list of a K value um, syntaxes. So, what do I mean by K value? I will maybe go back to that. So, K value, do, do, do I have some somewhere? Maybe higher? No, probably not. There is some. Letters, no. So I will I will write it somewhere. Like uh, it's basically find new file. So you basically like have a list that uh, will contain like let's say Bob, and Bob take um, I don't know like usually it will be not like random stuff, but like let's say random. Then we'll have Bill that will take some just 10, let's say, et cetera, et cetera. So this is <clears throat> the whole philosophy of it is that like our oh, Boolean stuff, like let's say um, rainy and to be like true, you get training. Uh, so this, the whole like system, it's like that K value. Sometimes 
uh, it could be like not just one scal one 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 scalar. It can be like also a vectors or, for example, uh, if you have like some parameters that says normal, you will want normal to have like the mean and uh, some, the precision variance of whatever. So it could be like combine of mean equals zero and let's say if if it's precision, let's go this way to make it more clear. <laughs> precision. Could be like I'll say <coughs> something like I I made wrong answer, but just like so you you get it. It can be also a vector. It can be like color, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But it's basically like a k, and then you add values of it. Okay. Uh, so yes, and in this control compute, you will, we will add uh, a lot of uh, other variables that should be computed, mostly. Uh, for what I have seen, it's like uh, <laughs> sorry, uh, it is like um, other uh, how do you call that criterion, in, like criterion, uh, other like uh, yeah, you are computing other like uh, information that are useful. For example, like the DIC, like the deviance information criterion. That I use it to compare model to other models or the Wakatsuki um, information. Uh, I never want like I never about to remember it, but like it will allow you like to get others like um, yeah, use is useful uh, in the um, how you call that? Yes, mm. uh, control values that help you uh, control various models. So here we will not we will we'll do one for example. But we will, we are just generating one model, so it's not very interesting because like you are comparing with nothing. Then you have like another uh, argument that's also take a list with the same ID, like uh, a k value logic on inside of the list. Uh, that's take uh, that's uh, are useful like to uh, specify. Um, so it's the predictor this time. So you you can add like. Um, the link, for example, or if you want to have like the marginal densities, because by default it doesn't calculate it, so you do not have the whole distribution of it. Uh, you should you have like the uh, you 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 have like an argument that said compute equal true to add it. We will see it. Okay, you have other other kind of um, argument. The inner function is very big, but this is the main one that you probably use all the time. Okay. No, we need to specify priors. Here at the same, you can use inla model parentheses uh, prior. And here I take the example of normal. Like this was like the example I displayed. So you know, like you have a dog, the dog name is normal, but it works also with normal. Like normal, if, if you want to call the dog, you should use like inla doc normal prior, and then you have all of it. Tell you the number of parameters, it tell you like the probability density function that it used, equation one, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. It's good. <laughs> you should always check the doc, like I said, because like every other software, they could use other convention. Like for example, the use of precision instead of variance in the normal distribution. If you use like for example R to generate normal distribution, it use the variance and not the precision. But lot of uh, machine learning folk and people use the precision. I think it makes sense for them. Uh, <laughs> that's it. So we have like. Uh, yeah, basically, like uh, I highly encourage you, like, like, to just read the doc. I know it's basic, and we sometimes we are like skipping that, but uh, it can lead to huge error and day of debugging, which uh, for something stupid. Okay, Inla use some default setting for like the priors and stuff like that. Uh, you can be confident by these default settings. They look like like very an informative prior like the use of the gamma distribution with very like broad gamma uh you can change it at two level so if for example like you are doing a lot of modeling and you are not happy with the with the default prior setup you can set up with that at the at the global level i would be very afraid to do that or i will have to document it because like you need you probably can get it back with this command. So knowing like what kind of prior you have set up for, for all the inla function. But you can also like directly into the inla function 
uh, uh, you have like another argument that control fixed and you can like specify it with the uh, a prior fixed list. So the control fix is an argument inside of the inla. And then you create a list which specify our, uh, the prior fixed. Is it good, Federica? Is there some question? You are, you are like, we're, yeah, okay. you are doubling yourself. Exactly. I see you twice. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> okay. The same ID. <clears throat> uh, we'll know uh, inside of the F function, you can specify the uh, I pair parameters as a list. Same, same ID following the K value syntaxes. Uh, that will take the initial, which is like, where do you want to start the computation? This help you like being faster or not. The prior distribution uh, wanted. The parameters, if you are like, uh, if you are using like some prior distribution, obviously the parameters, so which one are they? So yeah, this is like, like prior distribution, obviously is a string. Here, yeah, parameter is a vector. Like if you're doing the normal distribution, you need to give two parameters and the fixed value if, if they are fixed or not. Okay, here in the chapters, uh, the author introduced us with uh, a way to setting up priors that I didn't know and I fully do not understand now, which is because penalized complexity of PC priors. So instead of setting up priors, with like a distribution, you can ask um, it to uh, follow a certain trade-off between the precision you want and uh, the results. So I have not fully understand it. Uh, apparently, like the article about it uh, is from 2099, 2020, uh, sorry, 2019. So it's like three years old article. So I have to read a bit more, like, but feel free to share resource about it. But we'll use it in the example, and it seems nice. It seems a bit magical to me, but thanks for this researcher who did this, this job for us. Okay. Are, are we good? I hope so. Yeah. If you have some questions, feel free. Yeah, Federica? Apparently, yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh... Okay, no, no, no. It's okay. Okay, so now we'll just play, we'll, we'll just give an example of, uh, and, and especially because, like, I have shown you how to set up the in a function, but not how to examine the results. Like, obviously, if you are like doing that, you want like some results, uh, either from the linear predictor or like, like for the density you want to get. Uh, the probability density you need. Okay, so this data came from like uh, I think the in lab package search. So it gets you like uh, 12 hospital with the number of cases and uh, the number of uh, mortality rate after operation. So this mortality following a surgery, so not maybe not operation, maybe not clear. So uh, we want to investigate this mortality rate, like what will be, what can be like the next mortality rate, etc., etc. So, <laughs> so we we do a very simple model. So uh, the mortality rate, like, will uh, the, the the results of uh, the the R the the result we want to get will follow binomial distribution. Like as you die or not, and uh, as you die or not, like n is like the number of uh, surgery, let's say, uh, and pi, which be, which be like the mortality rate uh, we try to estimate for every hospitals and for all, all general, and obviously we have that for the twelve hospitals. So for, <clears throat> for that we need to set up uh, a linear predictors, uh, which will which will be about on the mortality rate. We'll use <coughs> the logit function, which to remember just the log out, so the log height of the hoods, so the log height of the probability you want to check divided by the what it's not like the, this probability. And it will just take like an intercept and uh, uh, u, like the 
a, a random effect, which will be like normal uh, with zero, not O, and sigma. And uh, <clears throat> by default, uh, inla used uh, for the intercept use a normal distribution of zero and a precision. Uh, we will use, uh, we will set, we will keep fine with that, but we will change the prior <coughs> for uh, U, our random effect, with the, uh, the penalize, what's the name exactly? I don't remember the PC priors, <coughs> which will say like the, will we'll say like the probability of having a standard deviation bigger than one will be 0 0.01. So like 1%. So here, this would be like, uh, this is the way like apparently this PC prior works. You are basically like, this is like the, so what we, so it's zero, so we have not like to, to interact with it. This is mostly like the standard deviation we want to investigate it. And we, for I don't know what it came from, but like it would be very rare to have like uh, a standard deviation uh, greater than one. So that's why we set up that. Okay, so here we are just defining a list prior uh, uh, pre precision prediction, uh, precision, I guess, yeah. which take like um, use the PC price, like the PC that you want to use, and the PC of just two parameters, like the one we want to set up here, and the other like the 0 0.01. That's it. So it's a list inside of a list. Yes. Sorry. Then we define the formula object. Yeah, this is very simple. Like the formula will be like the the air from the data set, like the mortality, the number of uh, deaths after surgeries. Uh, that will be like this is what we want to explain. That would just follow like a random effect, which is the the hospital. That uh, will take like the hospital. It's still uh, IAED, which I assume is some kind of normal, and the hyper, which the parameters, the, all, the upper parameters, the parameters and the parameters want to set, uh, is defined here. Okay. Yeah. Um, sorry, yes, Oliver. Like this formula. Yeah. Uh, the syntax, this type of uh, uh, syntax, is used just for INLA. Model is that? Uh, okay. Yes, if you wanted to use R, for example, linear model or like uh, probably not linear model, but GLM, you will you will use the same like R stim like the tilde simulation, uh, just uh, with hospital. Yeah. The, the, okay. The stuff very particular with uh, Inla is this F function that is used to define a lot more information. Uh -huh. Okay, so Inla function allows for uh, this type of syntax in the formula. Yeah. And yeah, and we so I think this, yeah I I think you can use it. Uh, I mean I think like the formula function will allow you formula syntax. Let's say but sorry, formula syntax will allow you to use some function inside of it, even in bed R. Okay. And Sure, because I have never used it too much, but I think it's possible. Yeah. So here is it good? Okay, yeah. well, I guess. Uh, but uh, like, yeah, you know? if you have, <laughs> I will be interested like in sharing resource on this uh, formula syntax letters, if I found good one. I mean, because synthetic I one, because I found those, but not something synthetic. Mm -hmm. Because in um, uh, base R, I know that you can use like the um, this uh, the response and then tilde and then like if you want to add a, like a sort of formula, you use the I capital I. And oh yeah. Can, yeah. Uh, I, it, let, let let me check. I, I think I have like uh, notes on it. It's like. Um, yeah, using like sometimes. <laughs> Let me formula. Do we have some stuff on it? No, I, I don't. I, 
I will check later. Uh, I don't remember where I have stored that, but uh, yes, the I, I think it's when you want to, um, well, I, I could be wrong, so I prefer not saying, but yeah, you, you can use the I, which uh, I think mean um, like the, I will write it on the chat so it's, it may be clear. Let me, where was the chat is? Uh, no, zoom, 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 can I? Uh, uh, basically, while here in uh, in Inla, you can use F as the meaning of a uh, formula within yeah, the but, predictors. Uh, uh, but, so you modify the predictors with yeah. a type of model independent, uh, identical, independent and identical distributed elements, yeah. IID, with yeah. this hyper parameter. But what this F does, uh, what, what's happened uh, right. with this? Uh, because I it's it's Illa that's working on this uh, f function. Okay. Uh, well, the i I think uh, in the formula syntax classic in base r signify just uh, as if. So use it uh, as if and not uh, as a formula syntax. I, if I remember correctly, but I could be wrong. So I, I prefer I check it and, and, and write it in the Slack letters. But here, the F, I think it's specific to the inner and where you specify the model and the pri and the hyper parameters. Yeah, thank you. But I could be wrong. I, I think it's specific. Okay, let's go with the inner core. So the formula we have setting up here. This is the first argument, so, but I could have write it formula equal formula. Data is the search, the one that's uh, loaded within law. Family, uh, here it's binomial. I think like the EED is because here, see, uh, we are using like this uh, normal distribution, which uh, will not be like drawing from an orbital, will not influence drawing for another orbital. This is what we mean, I think, here. The effect of uh, having a mortality rate in some hospital will not have effect on the mortality rate in other hospital. Uh, so family is binomial. The number of trial. Uh, this is what we. Uh, this is uh, inside of the data. This is the number of trials every hospital have. The number of surgery basically. And then we will add. Uh, we ask the compute. We add on the predictor the compute because we want the marginal densities to be calculated. And then like here, this is like, we want also to have like the, the GIC to be calculated to uh, be able like the, to compare model if you want, but here we'll not use it too much. Result with a fault. So if we, if we do a summary of our rest object, we get first like how we call it. it. So no, we are everything. The time used. <laughs> Here we have a summary of the fixed effect, the random effects, the sort of hospital, the fixed effect. Here we just have the intercept. And uh, this provide you basically, so it's worth like just looking, but because like every kind of call will provide you the same similar results. We have the mean, the standard deviation. And you will have like the quantile uh, of, uh, you will have the 95 uh, quantile interval between 0 0.025 and 0 0.975. And then you have the medium and then the mod uh, if it's available, but yeah, it doesn't make any sense. And that's it. Okay. Uh, so random effects, so the model hyper parameters here, like the, this is the precision. So be careful, it's not the variance. And uh, the DIC we wanted to calculate it, uh, the effective number of parameters, extra, extra. That's it. One moment. I have a kids here. I will move the kids. Okay, no more kids, sorry. Uh, okay, so we have like the other way to access it. We can like subset 
this huge object with the dollar sign like we use in base R. So if you do res summary fixed, you get the just the in the yeah, what is it summary? Yeah, you get just the the summary of the fixed effect, so the intercept, which maybe is not very interesting in this kind of uh, uh, model, but that's it. Uh, we are scared uh, compute equal true. So we get more information, the summary linear predictor, which return a data frame with the linear predictors, the summary fitted values, like, let's see. Uh, tick, 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 tick. Res, uh, let's select the summary pixel. Up, oh, we get it. I think this is what I've showed you. Uh, What's more interesting is like what the name of them. I'm still learning them also, but marginal linear predictor. Okay. Here we get uh, the intercept by fixed, yes. So this is like the etc. etc. Uh and then uh, just to point, like, be careful because like some return data frame as a return list, which makes sense, but you have to be careful. I like the way like you have the predictor, but you can also have the value. The difference is like the predictor have been converted uh, to the units uh, you want. Like it's the predictor uh, are um, in the log um, measure. You have to use the link function to convert them. So you have this. Uh, this is already done for you, so it's good. <laughs> uh, for both the for both the for both the marginal and the summary, uh, you can access them like I show you. Uh, mm -mm -mm. Okay, so you can access them like directly, like with this dollar sign uh, subsetting, but you can also use some function. <coughs> That's take the inla, then uh, uh, it's not uh, it's inla dots and then a letters, but there's no dot here. A letter then marginal, or um, and then if you replace the l by if you type inla, now we go for it. Inla that the marginal res. Oh, uh, yes. I don't know why it doesn't work. I will have to check it. Oh, yeah. I have to see so you have to, to specify it from it. I will do it. Let's uh, uh, alpha is already fixed, I think. So I already done that. So here yeah, the the intercepts. I have already saved it. So in uh, that E marginal alpha. Yeah. Oh, yes. Okay, I will not write. Are you family? You want to do say something? Yes, uh, I want to. Ask. Is it possible we display the attributes of the in the model object, the rest, the attribute of rest? Uh, on rest, you think? No attributes to Thank check the attributes so that we can see all the attributes. Oh yes, I think it's possible. But the attribute, what do you mean? Like the well, I don't no, know. I mean on a new line, just type attributes, then it puts the object, the model oh, object. Okay. Just the attribute like that? Yes. Yeah. It's not there. Yep. Let's see. Let's see if it's more. Like that? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, oh, wow. A lot. So it have a lot of attributes. This is what the one you are calling, like basically like, uh, so name fixed, the one that I use it, the summary fixed, the marginal fixed, et cetera, et cetera. Yes, sure, go ahead. Yes. Okay, I will go. 
So while I just work, uh, maybe I restarted it. Let's see. So, oh yes, because like uh, you have like the marginal fixed, you have that obviously for the intercepts and for the, um, I mean, you have that for the, uh, you can have more than one, uh, it's a more than one uh, object. And obviously it's a list here. So if I go alpha here, it's better. And if I go back to ma, no, still not. Well, I'm lost. Uh, so you get, let's, let, let's go back for a minute, sorry. Uh, but yeah, you, you basically like this, this a for marginal, Q for quantile, S for spline smoothing, which is very good. And T is for transformation. Like when you want to go like for change your variance uh, or your, your precision to go for variance, small typo here. And then if you want to just have the summary statistic, I don't know why it doesn't work, it should work. I will go try another one. Let's say like summary statistic, for example. Oh yeah, it works. So maybe <clears throat> some things that I haven't understand with the expectation. So here, this gives you like a small example, like the alpha layer setup. So we are just getting like the intercept, the first fixed, and I think you had just one. Let me check if I if I go because in the model, let's go asking for it. This is why it didn't work, and because I think I think I just have one, no. Yes, I just have. Uh, one, I don't know, maybe not. If you, if you look mm -hmm. at the... Uh, yeah, true, it doesn't matter. If, if I, you if look at yeah. I just have one yeah. list inside of it, normally, because I just have one fixed, the intercept. That's why, like, uh, I have to, if I, if I, when I was doing that, like that, uh, let me do it. If I was doing uh, 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 like that, Maybe it will work. No, I guess I missed something on the expectation. Yeah, uh, Femi. Um, just the quantile. If, um, Oliver, if you um, uh, there's there's um, like oops, oops. Sorry. that's fine. Uh, I put in the chart. Huh? I put in the yeah. chat. Um, yeah. The things that are uh, it, it, in the book, uh, you need like a function of x, and then oh, the, yeah. the way uh, it, it is done in the book. Uh, you find it on under figure point point uh, four point four. Um, nice. I don't know exactly how to say the. the I don't have the number of. Uh, the, the page number, but if you look yeah. in, in in the book, uh, where's the figure point uh, four point four, the posterior yes. the variance is uh, just uh, uh, a bit uh, below of that. You find yeah. uh, the the thing. I think uh, uh, you, what kind of function do you need inside? Um, yes. Let's go to it. Yeah, I should have spent more time on that. Uh, oops. Let's go to the to the book. Book here. I should bookmark it. <laughs> okay. Let's say the mar marginal, no, uh, uh, um, no, maybe letters. Yeah, yeah, we for work. Expectation. Wow. Uh, that, that's the process. Oh, yeah, yeah, that is. Excel, no. Okay, so yeah, I, I should investigate that a bit because I not fully understand it. Uh, let's go quickly on the other function. But anyway, uh, this, so we need to learn uh, basically like 
I think it's easy to understand them. I mean, easy to remember at least the function with the remember like every uh, every letter start with something uh, that's for quantile. As for smoothing, NT is when you want to transform the result you get to the correct, uh, because like what the model uh, gives you as a output is usually like um, what uh, you use as a, you, you want to, but not necessarily what you want. Like you, per, I mean, for me, for example, I'm bad at understanding what precision uh, means. Variance is make more sense. So here I just reproduce and. Yeah, that works. So I'm kind of curious to know why it doesn't, uh, because S is smoothing, I guess. So it gives you like the the smooth version of the intercept. The intercept is is low. It go from two point one to three. Uh, here, uh, tick, 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 tick. Uh, the marge variance. Uh, so this is a way for transforming. It like if you want instead of having like the uh, the alpha uh, the the sigma uh, you want it's uh, you want the precision instead of yeah you say you, you took the precision and uh, you reverse it to get the variance and then you use it uh, use this variance to get uh, like something more. Uh, uh, X is not X, like it should be changed. Like this is the default version, but uh, should be changed. This is the the sigma, the the distribution of the sigma, which is like the uh, variance of um, the U parameters. And here, uh, I haven't done it, so I will go to the book. Yeah, I find it quite cool. So you can just also facet wrap. So that's so you get the um, you get the the marginal fitted value. So the value um, transformed by the logic function. So you get the value in your normal uh, scale. I mean normal the real value scale, and then <clears throat> you transform this uh, because it's a list into a data frame <laughs> so basically like you remind them uh, into a data frame and then uh, you repeat the you you need to add the hospital back because like what you get is just a data frame with the with the marginal uh, the value and you want like to reproduce the 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 list of the hospital and then you can just get like uh, the the distribution the posterior distribution of every mortality rate for every hospital uh the intercept is is 10 percent which is quite i don't know i'm not like like a, a surgeon if it's 10 percent to a big or low mortality rate but two hospital have uh have the their posterior like quite around 10 like the two the 10 and the 11 so this is the one like uh, are a bit strange, uh, and you can also like calculate like the <clears throat> other 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 feature like that. I we just end it with like the the control variable to compute approximation. So it's a new uh, a new uh, parameters inside the inla. I don't remember which one they use by default. So I have to check. Uh, it takes a list, uh, which basically takes in the list 1k, which is the uh, way the approximation strategy. The green one is probably like the most computing one because like you are basically like uh, grading all the possible value. So it's like uh, a lot of option. And you can setting up to like as a, uh, if you know, uh, if you have, like, for example, uh, if you use an empirical based approach, which means like you have, you fix, I mean, you know by the data the parameter value, so you use them, you use them uh, with that. It can also use the uh, the default is auto. I don't know which one is it, and you have like more here. And the default is simplified Laplace. That's it. 
Here you are. And that's it. So I have to investigate a bit uh, this function that used to transform the result object to understand them more. But that's it. Hope it wasn't too bad. If you have questions, thanks a lot me. <laughs> Thank you. I think we will see, we'll understand more also like uh, when we are going to the model and visualization for data. Uh, I found it, I think the design, the role, the design of the package make it quite, uh, I will not say easy, but it's help a lot, I think. And, uh, but yes, it's not like, for example, uh, with the bias rule book we use that use a, lo a lot of functions that help us more, that do the lot of job uh, behind the scene. Yeah, I think we'll have to work a bit more to get uh, the results we want, I think. Okay, so let me just check what's happened next week before we leave. Because I don't remember. Uh, I will stop sharing maybe. Oops. This works. Oh, anyway, no, no big deal. Uh, what makes sense? So next week. Oh, perfect, Federica. That's you. And we'll have to form someone for doing the week later. Are you hearing me? Zoom is lagging. Yeah, Zoom, yeah. Are you going back? Okay. So that's it, I guess. We we know how the basic to play with data. Stop sharing. Zoom, are you here? Wait. Uh, Wait. Wait. I'm okay. Uh, can you can you hear can you hear me? No. Yes, I can hear you, but I, yes. I it appears like I cannot interact with Zoom. I think it doesn't like the screen sharing. It's not responding. I will. Okay. So um, I'll, I'll see you next week. Okay, see you next week. That, that, that's a good option, you know? <laughs> yes, I'm back. Are you hearing me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think Zoom doesn't like when I go to Slack. This is like... <laughs> <laughs> okay. So yes, that, that was the introduction. Uh, I hope next week we'll play with more a, a bit more complicated data. And it's you, Federica, no? Yeah, yeah. We do. Okay. And next and the week after, we have like to pick one of us to do like the because we're three, so kind of tiring. <laughs> okay, that's okay. I will work a bit on the on the in lab function to understand them more and post it on the Slack. <laughs> 